Hi guys, welcome to another video about Arch Linux Tweak Tool. Just wanted to show you that Archcraft.io is the latest supported um, Arch Linux based system. Yet another minimal Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. It combines OpenBox together with BSPWM with a lot of interesting features design wise. So have a look if this can be something um, that you can like and love. And the Arch Linux Suite tool is ready for it. At this point in time, we're on BSPWM. Super C, this, these are key bindings I need to learn, right? Super X is logout. Well, I better do this one. Are you sure? And I better go back to my own key bindings because, hey, that's um, a challenge. So awesome is not by default, but it's the Arch Linux week tool. The idea is that we do not care anymore with what we start with, as long as it's Arch. And with the Arch Linux week tool, we can do whatever we want with it. So that's the idea, a kind of a briefcase you take along to anything Arch Linux based and you do your thing. You want to go to the browser, find Supership D, the menu is there, Firefox is installed, fine, then you install Firefox, you launch Firefox or Chromium or, 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 right? What key bindings do you need to learn? That's a super Q for, to quit, super enter, super shift enter, super shift D, escape, super shift Q, super Q, and super X. That's it and all the rest and let you study because this is awesome and studying means reading. Config, awesome. How is this thing working? Because of files, PSPWM. Why is PSPWM working like it is? Because of files, read it. Now the Arch Linux tweak tool has been tested. So Control Alt E is a key binding to launch the Arch Linux tweak tool in different desktops. And if there is a log file present, he'll tell you because there can be only one Arch Linux tweak tool, ATT, there can be only one. Otherwise you'll mess things up, right? It's like the Pac-Man log, there can be only one uh, installing packages. So awesome. Let's do something else. Let's uh, install DWM and install that one. Um, yes, there is an, a, a Pycon um, conflict. It depends, right? You always have to use your brain in the sense that when you move or on in other distros, um, people might decide to use a different kind of Pycon. And there is this Iphag one or something like that. You first need to get rid of that because, well, it conflicts and why does it conflict not because of the arch Linux tweak tool but of Pacman in the package build it says align conflicts with so you need to remove them some things some time to time and then everything just kicks in so quit super X logout and yes we've changed the SEM theme this is not the default theme anymore So there we are, same things apply. Control T or super enter or super shift enter. It all is here and it's all available. Of course, again, go read how is DWM working. It's a very specific uh, thing and it's all explained on articlelinksd.com how it all works and fits together. Control E. Just some highlights I'm taking out, right? So these are, is, is, is awesome in the sense that voila, they're all here. If you want to have a specific one, fixing the keys is something that we need to do in Arch Linux from time to time. Setting the, the main servers for Arch Linux. So the etc pacman.d, the middle list, change that. Or getting some keys in via the key servers. Grub has been changed. You can also time out now. We have this little slider. You can set and say, okay, 
seven seconds timeout and it will wait seven seconds right and then it will boot up you can change the grub themes any wallpaper is good as long as you apply the vimix theme that's one thing and then later on choose and apply the wallpaper in the beginning there is a button up here saying install it and then everything kicks in because this is after the fact right that i'm explaining everything the login manager we are now on arclinks materia but this was the default arch craft we can choose other uh, cursors everything sets if everything is selected here then it will tell up here okay it's saved or awesome dwm why not go to dwm login auto login you don't want to auto login okay voila that's it and save we've we went through all the motions of installing lightdm lxdm even and um the wallpaper changing the wallpaper so if we are greeted and this only works for sdm at this point in time this is just a dummy but the idea is that this one will govern all of them if you want to have a wallpaper with lightdm it will be like this and then we apply it but for now it's just sdm so sdm archcraft is the choice of theme okay fine but the choice of wallpaper is here like for instance this one select and apply quit att super x log out we'll have this one but you can select more you can select other sdm themes and there are plenty of sdm themes around and even and that's a bit strange but even the normal standard ella run this is the standard sdm theme even that one becomes nice if you change the wallpaper right if you change the wallpaper it's not that bad <laughs> i was amazed a little bit by that it's okay right LRN by default is not so nice, but changing already the wallpaper makes it a world of difference. So there's a lot of things to explore, a lot of things to do. There's one thing, caveat, that I've done, and that's fish. Fish is out, right? Uh, fish is not present. It's ZSH that's present and Bash that's present. At this point in time, Bash is active. NeoFetch, right? Well, there he is. <laughs> Bash is active. And the ATT, so the up all, the rip, um, you name it, they're all here. And that's because of the ATT Bash RC configuration. You can always reset anything you have touched. That's the idea. So always report if you say, hey, Eric, I can't get this and this back. I can't reset it. The point is that there is always a dot back file somewhere so you can go always reset the original bash rc which in this case is just the original arch Linux, meaning nothing right it is all in here zsh is the default um, shell in archcraft so you see what we've done lately right installing arch Linux drop theme vimix dm status so here we install dwm dwm here we install the tweak tool number 13 and it goes up you can follow along what did we exactly install and if you're using our shells here the att shells you need to add some extra stuff so these are applications that we can install and well yay was already there but for instance xpack was not and that's this rip thing this is actually is, is showing you what did i do the last hours and i was awake this morning quite early right four o'clock in the morning even earlier and um, there you go you have all the possibilities everything is, is, is possible you can install all of these and this is a watch out on Archcraft Eric if, if I remove myself the system is broken right so uh, we'll, we'll discuss that with the developer and um, 
that's just something to be aware of and all the rest is just working super fine enjoy the Arch Linux tweak tool change all the things you you see here NeoFetch is a little bit different in the sense that you saw already how beautiful it is this is a beautiful NeoFetch but it's not the default right so Archcraft is using a personalized NeoFetch configuration switch to the default NeoFetch to use this tab you need to delete something here and of course there's always a backup so that's um, a given NeoFetch is here and this is your backup right if you would compare these two guys then you would see it's the same so if you remove this guy um, the two ways of, of going of doing this if I remember correctly uh, the sudo pacman minus r archcraft scripts removing the scripts and then a neo fetch command not found sudo pacman minus s neo fetch or the button down here uh, install neo fetch so this is a default neo fetch again if we see what we get now it's going to be this right and with this you say okay then probably this is going to work apply your neo fetch configuration neo fetch and it is certain things are gone and you can keep on making this smaller and smaller until you say actually uh let's do that again neo fetch okay so we have these things but you feel something is is uh, missing if we delete this guy and we again ask for a neo fetch he's gonna create his own neo fetch so the application neo fetch creates this file delete neo fetch this is the default and with the default then of course everything kicks in again but we probably need to reload this thing if it restarts it's gonna read the config file again and let's delete some stuff here neo fetch voila control t this is your neo fetch and if you want to have a small for instance small one apply your neo fetch let's delete some stuff here control t now we have this thing a very small arch Linux guy right but a long list okay no problem long list let's get rid of some stuff right up 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 apply your neo fetch and now we go back here control t and you get less and less and less of text the blocks and the title don't very much like that one okay fine neo fetch again and you'll see it will get smaller and smaller so that's the idea it's a bit tricky if you want to have everything back you need to remember some things right you need to say okay ah lolcat is also quite interesting click right always fun always fun always fun always a different color super cute super cute super cute super cute super cute super cute voila all gone um what i was thinking is yeah getting back to whatever it was right in the beginning so reset is the backup okay fine that's this for now sudo pacman minus remove the official neofetch and install the not so official archcraft scripts archcraft scripts voila ctrl t and we're back and we still have lolcat so it is always yeah keeping learning basically learning uh, how a distro is working and, and what where the configs are and, and what to do but that's just the fun and i invite you to have a look at archcraft it's a beautiful system and more 
important for me then Arsenal Link's tweet tool works on it. All right, cheers.